Fear and frustration in Chicago after a deadly weekend in the city that left dozens in the hospital. Just awful here. Uh, Police say 11 people were shot and killed and 66 others were wounded over the weekend. The victims were between 11 and 62 years old. Records show the shootings happened between 7 p.m. Friday and lasted until 3 this morning. Chicago has struggled with high shooting and murder rates in recent years. I hear people holding us accountable all the time. I never hear people saying these individuals out here in the streets need to stop pulling the trigger. I never hear that. I never hear that. They get a pass from everybody, and they should. 46 people were arrested this weekend on gun charges, and 60 guns were seized as a result of ongoing investigations. All right, it's uh, now just a matter of hours before the polls open for Michigan's primary election. And Local 4 will be following all the races, including the key contests that have provided so much drama the last couple of months. Uh, Governor Snyder's two-term limit ending and uh, Republican and Democratic candidates winding up their campaigns. There are also wide open races in the 13th and 11th congressional districts. Uh, no incumbents on the ballot. Open congressional seats don't come along all that often. And a smart transportation millage renewal in Macomb County uh, facing some opposition. We'll be watching that closely too. Yeah, and if you have any questions before you head to the polls, we have a complete guide. It includes information on the candidates, what you need to bring with you to vote, and so much more. Just click the link on the home page.